Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, small request, please subscribe to the channel. We make uh, videos on daily basis and it takes a lot of hard work and effort to make videos. Also, if you can see, I'm recording this video around 3 a.m. in the morning. This is because I have a full time job uh, as a DevOps engineer and like I get very less time to work on YouTube. And also since YouTube is not my full time work, so still like try to like uh, upload videos on daily basis. Okay, so coming to today's topic so today i'm going to guide you with the top 15 or 16 skills which you should focus on uh, as the minimum skills uh, if you are going for a devops engineer okay and i will even guide you what are the tools uh, you should focus on like explicitly and how, in what way you should write them okay so like one more thing is that like recently i have been taking quite some interviews and one of the problems that i find there is the way they, they have written their skill sets in their resume okay so one request i would uh, ask you so you can check out this video how to create devops resume and trust me you won't regret it this is direct reference to uh, one of my resume which i use in interviews and everywhere it's been like quite accepted well okay the resume so i would request you uh, check out this video it's 20 minutes if you watch it at 2x speed it will be 10 minutes and trust me it will be worth your time okay so one more thing I want to show you is like uh, this is uh, how I mentioned my skill sets uh, in last year and trust me you can you can even see that all these skill sets which I have mentioned they are clearly visible and very categorized way they are written okay same way I would request you if you are going for an interview uh, like write in this way in more tabular form which makes uh, them visible very easily for the interviewer okay so interviewer can it gives you an advantage because interviewer has a limited set of skills which from which they can ask okay so try that and if you want to like uh, need full reference you can just watch this video it's uh, trust me it's a really good video okay okay so coming to today's topic so i have categorized the, the like skills i am going to like write the skills now but i have categorized them previously only till total 15 skills i have written which you can focus on if you are going to give interviews okay so okay so start since we this is devsecops resume uh, so obviously we will start with cicd tool okay so first of all like uh, Jenkins you should write the reason for that because Jenkins is one of the quite one of the tools the CICD tool that is being used from a long time and it's still in use okay so obviously like in, you can start uh, with Jenkins then uh, next thing um, my suggestion would be so whichever cloud platform you are using Azure or AWS so that platforms DevOps uh, you can write okay so for me like I have been working on Azure DevOps platform so I will just write Azure DevOps okay other than these two if you are having any other experience like uh, github actions gitlab ci cd you can write but my suggestion would be don't write too many okay three is just like enough so I will just go with github actions okay so these three to uh, these three tools I will write them in uh, ci cd tool okay there are much more but for me like uh, I say key, these are my primary skills okay and I have been uh, like I have good experience on these tools okay then we have cloud platform so see this numbering also i have done in a proper way so that they know key as i mentioned i as i always mentioned key in devops you should definitely have at least one cloud platform access to okay so in my case most uh, most used platform that uh, i have been working on is azure cloud okay so i will just write azure cloud aws i have been using but uh, not that much that i should write in my resume okay because only few of the services i have been using from aws okay yeah so but in case if you are using both you can write both it's not an issue okay then we have build tool so build tool is like uh, some a tool that is that may be used for building the project as well as manage it so in my case first tool that i use on regular basis is one second is maven and another tool that which like i have little bit experience of is node.js okay so these two tools uh, build tool i have been using but i know like some of you might be using dotnet also so you can mention it whatever tools you have been used for uh, as a build tool you should mention it clearly okay then we have source code management tool so in source code management tool for me it's git only and i have uh, i have used git okay so you, but in case you are using svn or any other tool you can just mention it but git is one of the most widely used tools so if you just mention git that is also fine okay then we have artifact or release management tool so whenever we are building like applications we get artifacts or jar file war file nugget packages like that 
so those things we get as an output okay so but directly we cannot just keep them here and there we need to properly keep them manage them according to versions okay so for that two of the tools uh, two or three tools that i know which i have been like i have good experience on so first is uh, uh, nexus 3 okay which is one of the most widely used tool in this field okay okay guys don't mind the spelling because i am typing little fast and <laughs> so it it will get some error okay yeah so nexus 3 i have be, i have a good experience on then i have artifactory okay and also like since i have uh, I, as i mentioned like i have uh, i have been very good on azure devops platform so there also we have one uh, like artifact management tools which is just known as artifact management i guess okay which i will show you when we we start with the cloud platform, cloud uh, cloud devops part okay okay so these three th things i have mentioned but in case uh, you are just okay with nexus or artifactory whichever you are but mention at least one okay and be proficient like you should be very proficient in those tools because uh, it's going to be asked to you like uh, if you are having good experience or something like that okay so like that yeah next we have code quality ch check tool so i think i have been taught i have been teaching you about sonar q from very long time okay so make sure to write that as well sonar q and you can even write sonar cloud okay sonar cloud i guess uh, i think i have used it's like uh, uh, the so sonar only but it's like directly available on a cloud and you don't need to install anything i guess okay so also see these tools which i mentioned here maven git nexus uh, sonar q so these tools actually i was able to integrate with uh, cloud uh, azure devops also okay because if you mention this these things clearly ki okay whatever tools i am mentioning here most of them i have integrated with uh, cloud devops platform so that will be really useful for you your case okay okay then coming to one of the most important topic in devops and most discussed topic as well scripting tool so which scripting tool you should go for so basically in my knowledge i have like worked with a shell okay but other than shell one of the other used most used tool is python scripting okay see so python and shell both are, both can be used for automation configuration management and much more as a scripting tool so whichever you are proficient in you can start working with that okay so i i guess several of you might already know python so it would be really good if you could start in the shell uh, scripting direction using python that will be useful okay in case you have been working with shell then go with shell but uh, my suggestion if you are a, like a newbie so when i was working in my first project and i started so everyone was using shell so i just started using shell only but uh, later i realized ki python is a better option okay because it's a little bit easier to write okay okay so coming to next we have containerization tool so <coughs> obviously one tool we have worked too much with is docker okay so see when we talk about we, we are, when we are writing docker here so don't just write docker and leave it okay you can write docker compose also okay and other than docker compose few of the things few of the features of docker which you have been using you can write here like docker volumes docker swarm but swarm i don't i am not sure like it's if it's being used so widely as of now but few things we can you can write okay so that will be nice but yeah docker is very important so you need to learn you can watch my full tutorial on docker which i have created like full full course sort of thing okay okay then coming the starting with the deployment server sort of thing which is container management tool so at this point like in every companies whatever uh, application is being deployed so it's like a, uh, it's usually deployed through docker container and that docker container is managed by tools like kubernetes okay then open open shift open shift okay then obviously like kubernetes is available as uh, azure kubernetes service which is aks as well as i guess from aws also eks i think okay okay now the interesting thing or very good thing about this is that if you just learn kubernetes you will be very proficient in all these three the reason that i say so i have worked with openshift and kubernetes as well so the main difference that between kubernetes and openshift that i found is uh, that i realized is that kubernetes usually we run command using executable kubectl right we write command and kubectl get pods get kubectl describe this pod like that okay in openshift in, instead of kubectl we, we just replace replace kubectl with oc okay 
so we, we just write uh, oc get parts oc uh, get nodes like that okay and similarly in aks or eks also similar kind of things happen so if you learn kubernetes then rest will be like very easily uh, like they will come easily to you okay okay so if you have been watching my videos from quite some time you know that i have been always focusing on security tools because at this point everyone almost everyone is focusing on learning devops okay so if you want to stand out obviously you need to have some extra skills which is like focusing on security aspects of your devops pipeline or deployment or like building project okay so at this point like three tools that i have been using widely which i have been i have even taught you okay so one is obviously sonar cube which helps you to find out bugs issues or vulnerabilities in your source code then we have owasp dependency check okay so was dependency check is a tool which is which can be used to find out like uh, uh, commonly known vulnerabilities in your java libraries in case you are using maven but it can be used with node js applications as well so several packages it can uh, scan so was basically used for scanning the packages okay for uh, well, commonly known vulnerabilities that are uh, like uh, uh, available in market like that okay okay so sonar cube was dependency check then another very important tool is trivi so trivi is like uh, uh, another security tool which can be used see the difference between all these three is that trivi has like vast scope okay how trivi is having vast scope because trivi can scan not only whole source code but docker images and even trivi can scan like uh, uh, kubernetes clusters also clusters also okay so trivi that is why like trivi is having very vast scope so i would request you to learn these three minimum security tools and they are not very hard they are very easy okay i have made videos separately on each of them so if you want you can just watch them okay so next we have another tool which is anchor so i have used very less anchor basically and anchor like i have used for scanning docker images okay but i guess like if you are knowing trivi then anchor wouldn't be like very necessary so you can go with trivi okay if there is an option between anchor and trivi my suggestion is always go with trivi okay okay then coming to iac tool okay so iac tool is like infrastructure as a core tool so which is also at this point it's like very much so widely in use so you should definitely go and learn those as well okay so most of the used iac tools are like ansible then terraform puppet chef but my suggestion is that key the tools which are like most in demand is uh, terraform as well as ansible okay so a short difference between them i will tell you like if you want to provision or create new resources use terraform but in case you want to like update some things or deploy applications or modify things then we go for ansible okay so that is a like very small difference between uh, terraform and ansible okay okay let me drink water okay so next we have monitoring tool so you know like when we are building applications and de deploying those applications so it's it's a really good thing that we can monitor them what is their health and how they are working if they are running fine or not okay so for that one of the most used tools is grafana and basically it uses data sources like prometheus i think yeah prometheus then other than prometheus we have loki there are several tools okay but when you start learning grafana you will get to know what are the other data sources which are getting integrated with uh, grafana so okay so you can focus on that like 2 3 uh, one grafana and 2 3 data sources you can learn and that is more than enough okay okay then we have uh, uh, operating system so obviously most used system in devops side is linux and windows okay so yeah, i guess like you already know that and you can like learn like little bit about them also like in case someone ask okay but usually nobody will nobody is going to ask like okay which is your uh, main operating system you work on because if they if you are going for devops interview obviously they will know ki, okay you have experience on linux and windows but still it's good to mention here okay okay then we have ticketing tool so if you are a experienced person you might be knowing ki in any like a project where we build applications so the the task or their when the task is any task is given to a developer or a devops engineer they are assigned in a form of ticket okay so that ticket will be containing details about the task that is need to be done that ticket will be having uh, like sla ki till what time it needs to be finished like that okay so usually most used tool is jira or jira whatever it is called 
okay and other than that if you are working on cloud platform platform with azure then azure devops also had uh, also has azure boards okay so both are similar but uh, it's like azure boards is specifically just for cloud platform azure azure devops and jira is can be jira can be used and anywhere it's fine okay then we have uh, knowledge management tool so in many companies they document everything on a tool like uh, confluence i i'm not sure if still if it's still in use but uh, yeah uh, i have worked on uh, recently and it was uh, like it was being used okay so it's fine like even i think sharepoint is also there uh, for documentation so that also can be used but to, like if uh, if you are not experienced person then you should not mention this tool okay but rest you can mention all these tools let me yeah let me make it yeah okay so see these are the tools that uh, actually i have experience on or at least a good experience on that i can write in my resume but uh, these are the things that you should focus on okay and some of the tools are like i have already guided you with like security tools uh, all these three tools i have guided you with and docker also we have covered so lot of things we have covered you just need to start implementing things and okay okay so that is all the uh, skills that i would suggest you to focus on see the reason it's not just the number of skills okay it's the way for example like uh, if you are using jenkins then jenkins then and obviously like you you are going to have a good good uh, access on like any cloud platform okay my suggestion is go for azure devops cloud platform the reason i say so is because like azure devops platform is like very very uh, like categorized way it is it is kept and it is very easy to use okay also like azure devops platform can be integrated with any of the tools okay so many tools it can be integrated with very easily okay yeah so these are the things and i will just share this with you as well so you can mention it also do not forget to check out this devops resume video it's going to be really helpful for you if you, you take it as a reference and make video uh, sorry make your resume out of it okay yeah so that's all for today guys and i hope this video might help you in uh, in any way okay if it so then give a like to this video also you can comment if you are having any queries okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day